Hi everyone, it's PhD Samir here and welcome back to my channel and to Parenthood. So uh, in the last video I did a little bit of an overview of the CAS items. So now we're going to do the same sort of thing but with Build By. And then rather than dump it all out on just an empty lot, I have decorated a house ready for the LP. And I've gone for this house in Windenburg because I've always liked this house. Um, I've always liked this house and I think it's really really cool and it's going to make a really big family home and the uh, family I've got um, set up for this LP they're kind of like a little bit established like they're a bit further ahead in their careers like we're not starting completely from scratch so they have the money and they can afford this house and um, we'll get more into the storyline in the in the when we actually start the let's play but this is just going to be a build and buy overview so I have decorated up this house let's start on the ground floor I have had to put a few items outside that I didn't use uh, but I think I used the majority of the stuff from this pack so let's start off with like the main room so let me just just say it for the start I actually really really liked all the items that came with this I don't think there was anything I didn't like there might have been like a couple of things I wasn't that keen on but generally I loved all the items and I had a lot of fun trying to sort of use them all up and um, fit them into my house so there is one two three four five six people in this house uh two adults two teenagers a kid and a toddler we'll get more into the characters and all that stuff in like I say in the let's play but let's just look at the build by stuff so oh where do we start where do we start oh okay so I used the uh kitchen let's start with the kitchen that's the easiest place to start with I used all of it pretty much I loved all of it um I really like the um over the top counters how we've got like two different styles here like we've got stacked up plates we've got like some bowls love that um if I just put the wall up, it goes round the corner. Really, really nice. Really nice style. I love all the colours. It comes in like a real variety of colours, actually, which I'm really pleased about. So I love this sort of like greyish, bluish, purplish. I don't know like what colour you would call this, but it comes in like... Let's just put one out here. It comes in... I think I pretty much will use these all the time because they're really like nice colours. Nothing too out there really sort of homey colors i really like the green with the brown top actually that's really nice so obviously you get that we get the wall cupboards as i said i like the fact there's a couple of different styles um and then they come in all the same colors the greens the blues the browns i didn't want to go too over the top with the same color so i went for like the cream that matches the work top but yeah i really really love these they're really nice home style kitchen and i think we, we're in need of that actually actually i really do the fridge i really like the fact that it the wood blends in with the rest of the counters and i like the little like just detail on the outside it's really cool and it's a little ice machine and all that we got a new cooker and a new dishwasher i mean we didn't really need them but i feel like it's nice that it all blends in together the sink's not new um nor is the microwave or the all the all the sort of small items but it's nice to have a couple of different fridge and cooker options i think because i've been using the same ones pretty much all the time and i really really love the clutter i'm a big fan of clutter items so to have like the washing up rack which is really awesome I didn't check out the colors of this yeah it, it comes in the same sort of swatches and yeah i really like those so i'll just leave it whatever it was uh these cups are cc i'm afraid but they are so cute right I think they come in some colours. I think I've got an alternative uh, colour swatch of those as well. Bread bin, absolutely love that. Oh, I like the flowery one. I haven't even looked at... Oh, look at the little kitty, kitty one. Like, Mum, I painted up the uh, bread bin for you. <laughs> She's going to be like, what? Anyway, I've just left it white because I didn't want to have too, man too many colours. But I do love that flowery one. That's quite cool. So that's mainly the kitchen stuff. The new dining set, I adore door actually i really really like this like i have a hard time finding tables and chairs that match nicely for my sims 4 and i absolutely adore this um dining table i really like the natural wood with the white seat covers but it, again it comes in loads of colors and oh the patchwork one's really cute really really nice i think i will use these a hell of a lot i really like the patchwork with the red one that's cute um fruit bowl is this parenthood i think it did come with parenthood yep and great love that gotta you know encourage those kids but the fruit seems enormous i mean look here's cody 
If he was to hold that banana, it would be pretty massive. The grapes are huge as well, but there's a little bit of a scale, scaling issue there. Uh, what else is new in this room? The bookshelves, which I really like, and I was looking for something with a bit of yellow to tie in the room, and yeah, I really like those. I mean, they're bookshelves, what can we say about them? But I like the fact that there's, it's not just books on here, you've got like some clutter stuff as well, so that's cool. Like, I like the fact they've gone for these like darker tones as well, so like, I think I would use those in maybe like a vampire house or something. But the pink's really cool, so you could use these for bedrooms as well as living rooms, some really funky colours actually. But I just went for this nice grey with the yellow top, and I put two side by side. What else have we got? Um, none of that's new. Oh, this like little, um, <laughs> I like this like homeschool type um, planter box type thing. I assume these flowers are meant to be made out of like, I don't know, card or something because they do not look very real, but they're really cute and I love that that's like a school project vibe. Also, we've got this um, family planner, I think it's called. This comes in some different colours as well. I always just plonk down the first colour. It comes in quite a lot of bright colours, which I like, but I like the rainbow sort of fencing here. This is like a family planner. I don't really understand what this round thing at the top is, to be honest. Is it meant to be a clock or what? I don't know. Oh, I see. So here are the hands. Ah, okay. That's quite cool. I hadn't really figured that out until just now. I like that. I went for the grey. I kind of just keep sticking to the same colours. We're going to make it blue. Um, should we make it blue or should we make it... Let's put the wooden frame on there. Um, yeah, so that's, I didn't realise the hands were actually there, so that's quite cool. Uh, oh yes, the sofas, I adore the sofas. I have the second one just plonked out on the lawn outside, because I went for this one, which I really like. It just looked a little bit more sort of um, homey with the cushions on it, like just a little bit more real, if that makes sense. I'll show you the other sofa in a second, just to explain. That's nice with the stripes, I like that. I like having like a colour in the um, furniture because like how I do rooms like I'm not saying I'm any good at interior design but I usually like if it's a bedroom I will just pick a colour out of the mattress and then um, not the mattress like the you know the uh, bed sheets and then just design a room around that and I think I do the same with the living room so that's why I went for this like greyish blue and then I've gone for like an orange wall just to pick out the colour in the curtains but I really really like this sofa I do think I will use it a lot I use a lot of CC sofas because I don't really like the in-game ones so far but I really like this one the pink's quite bright but I do like it and I can see myself perhaps in the rose generation of not so berry using that swatch so that'd be cool. <laughs> the coffee table is new and I really like the, how big it is. I like it's a big chunky coffee table uh, and I like the fact it's square. I really really like find it easier just to place furniture around it because it's square rather than a rectangle. Yeah and it comes in all the same colours. I love the dark black and the dark red. That's really nice but not for this family house I don't think. But yeah I just went for this one but maybe maybe we'll go for that one. I don't know, actually I think I prefer it in the white, yeah. Um, these lights, hanging um, mason jar lights I think they call them, they are new. Ooh, the orange, let's go with the orange, they're nice. I haven't really checked out all the swatches, I just plonked stuff down. I really like these though, I do find it irritating when lights get in my way during like gameplay so I don't know how I'm going to find these going forward. I only put one set in, I did originally have some of the dining room but I thought it was just looked a bit too cluttered so as much as I love my clutter it was the wrong kind of clutter. <laughs> so I really like those sort of jam jar, mason jar type things so they're cool. The bar and stuff is obviously not new, uh, the plant's not new, these armchairs aren't new, I don't think, I think they might have come from, did they come from, yeah they came from the bowling pack, that's why I wanted to find a cushion to put on those but um, couldn't find one, I wanted one that was orange, I was being very fussy, <laughs> so that's all of the living area I think, I don't think we got any new TVs or anything like that, um, I will just have a quick flick through at the end um, to check if I'm missing anything but that's the basically the heart of the home I really like it actually I'm really pleased with this house so let's move on to the kids stuff so this is Cody's room he is a, obviously a young boy and so we got a new bed we've got two new beds actually I'll show you the other one in a second yeah we've got two new beds um I think they're more geared towards boys like the, these colours seem to be quite boyish to me. I mean, the purple stripe's not too bad. But yeah, I 
definitely think boys room when I see these beds but I do like the cushions at the back so you can like sit on your bed and lean against the back do your homework and all that sort of stuff the toy box isn't new rugs not new oh yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what these entail like I thought they were for toddlers but they're not they're for children uh, there's two different versions. We have the Boo Boo Billy Doctor playset. Playset. Boo Boo Billy suffers from more symptoms than a hypochondriac during flu season. Diagnose and treat all his illnesses. And that's fun level six, and it gives the kids the mental skill. And the same for the Tum Tum Teddy Doctor playset. So it's the same thing, but a teddy. I think I might swap it for a teddy because the, the baby doll kind of thing kind of creeps me out. So I think we're gonna go for a teddy. Oh, I think I had move objects on. Place that down. There we go. So yeah, the, the baby doll thing creeped me out a little bit. Um, yes, we have a new activity table. That is really cool. Um, I can't wait to actually see how this works in gameplay. And it does come in pink and, and sort of orange and red. So there are some... Oh, and purple. So there are some boys and girls variants there. Um, but yeah, and then the wallpaper's new, I forgot to mention that. I love this because I seem to always go for like young, sporty kids and in my city living, Josh was just like that. I would have loved this wallpaper for Josh. So this, I think we got two new wallpapers in this pack and, um, oh, we can't change it on there. Let's just, we'll just have to look. So we got a fish one. Um, we got some sort of plain ones. I was going to use in these in the living room area, but I just wanted one colour. But yeah, these are some just good standard homey um, wallpapers. Pink, I've used upstairs, I'll show you in a minute. Got a fish one, which would be good for the bathroom. What's the difference between that? And, uh, okay, so it's a slightly darker version of the fish. That's a really nice teal, greeny colour. I think I'll definitely be using that. Oh, that's cute with the heart. Nurseries strikes my mind. Obviously, we've got this uh, variation on this. Um, football one, another heart one, the one we've got on the wall right now, also waves, so yeah, you can definitely do some nice bathrooms and stuff. Oh, the clouds is really cute, that'll be good for a little boy's nursery, I think. Uh, some more waves in different colour, some more clouds in a different colour. All oh, the leaves, they are super cute, I definitely think I'll use those in my not so barrier because my sim is very garden orientated, but yeah, I love the leaf one, didn't see that. Uh, another plain stripe, another leaf. Yeah, I really like these wallpapers and I think I will use those a lot. Uh, what else is new in this room? Oh, the pictures. These are so adorable. I absolutely adore these. Um, so we got a space one, like clouds and the sunrise and some sort of nature stuff. Uh, under the sea theme, music theme. Uh, I don't know, I guess flowery sort of stuff. But look at the guy with the glasses. He looks kind of like... I don't know who it reminds me of, but there's somebody that reminds me of. <laughs> Probably someone in real life, which is the worrying thing. But yeah, I went for a couple of these, but again, I get the boyish vibes. I mean, it would be... I mean, we have one that's kind of like flowery, I guess. But it would be nice to have maybe some more girly sort of ones, I think. Like this is probably the girliest one of the lot and it's not even that girly. The board is quite girly, but the hanging pictures aren't that girly. So I would have liked a little bit more option there um we've got some more clutter it's just some art clutter i don't think it does anything let's just have a quick look can they actually use it uh environment no it's just clutter which i you know i like clutter but usable clutter is even better um a football lamp that's not new and then we got a night light which is cool because i hope this works for the monster under the bed because i hate the monster under the bed so much and it comes in pink yellow and blue which is perfect for a nursery i guess uh actually i want to see if it uh, dreaming under the stars is now possible with the starry night night light. Place this on the wall and dream about cows jumping over the moon, but use less imagination. Okay, so it doesn't say anything about monster under bed, but I would I'm hopeful that that will work. Um, okay, so that's his room. I think that's it. Pretty sure. Let's just check. There's no more pictures on his wall. Nothing new anyway. No. Um. And then we have Kelly's room. Kelly's like a rebellious teen. She's here, if you haven't seen her in my cast. Don't think I showed them all in the cast. It was just the one sim I was, a couple of sims I was overviewing. So that's Kelly. Um, this is her room. I kind of didn't want it to be too girly girly, but when I, I don't know. I feel like it's it needs a bit of colour. It's got the yellow, but I feel like it needs a bit more colour in there. So this mirror is new and I absolutely 
adore this mirror. I like mirrors that sort of prop up rather than just go on the wall. And oh, the green's really nice. It comes in some really good colours. Pink, purple, blues, browns, blacks. Oh, it even has one variation with a photo in the corner. So that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So we've got one. Um, Then we have these. I think these medals are new. Or did they come with the bowling pack? Because I've just installed bowling, so you have to forgive me if I get a little confused. Uh, what did they come with then? Oh, okay. So, some medals. Is there any variations of these? Oh, there's loads. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's quite a few medals. Um... Oh, the desk and the chair is new, which is really cute. I do like single desks because they just take up so much less room. Again, loads of colours. Pinks and blues and greens. Loads of colours. And the chair is also probably going to come in the same swatches. Yep, which is cool because I like my matching furniture. Now that we don't have um, Create a Style. I used to, when I played The Sims 3, I had to make all my wood exactly match. So, like, the bed and the wardrobe and the chest of drawers and the side tables all had to be in exactly the same wood. And I got a bit obsessed with making sure all my textures matched. And uh, it was painful when I first started The Sims 4, but I'm getting used to it. We got this new bed, uh, sort of bedroom chest of drawers, which I really like. I like the handles on it. They're kind of like chunky, sort of crystally type. Don't know if they're all like that. I think they are. Yeah. And again, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's lovely. And I love this, it's like stressed wood effect. It's a pity only one of them comes with that pattern, but that is really pretty. I really like that. Um, and I think these pictures are new here. I do like these sort of like layered up pictures. Yeah, they're new. So we got quite a few variations in that. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I love the ti the tiger. That is adorable. What else we get? pop bands maybe she would have that more than no nah, i'm gonna keep the one she's got but what else do we get we got some um they look like movie posters maybe sports posters yeah i think i'll put those in the kids room and yeah oh, awesome <laughs> uh what do they call them void critters yes i like those i definitely think i will use those posters a lot i think that's it for kelly's room I think that might be it. Yeah, the other stuff is CC, I think, or basic other pack stuff. So this is her twin sister. I mean, could they be more different? A bit of a cliche, but I thought I haven't done that yet in my Sims 4 sort of stuff. So I'm going to do the opposite twins kind of thing. So this is Kelly. Uh, the, no, no, no. This is Alison's room. Um, Kelly's twin. She's got the same bookshelf that we had in the dining room. Uh, her bed and all that sort of stuff is not part of the pack. Um, yeah, the bedspread and the cushions and all that didn't come with this pack. Um, what did? I don't actually know. Oh, we got this like little light, which is cute. and It's quite small. It's got a little moon on it. I think that's quite cute. And some of the bedside table lamps are a little bit big in the game, so it's nice to have a small one. We got this makeup clutter, which is cool. Um, let me show you. The bedside light comes in a variety of colours, both boys and girls. We've got like a space theme on one. We've got under the sea. Um, looks like we've got some birds or dinosaurs or something. So there's loads of variations in that. But I just went for this like light pink. We've got a makeup tray which again comes in quite a lot of colours. And it's really cute actually because you've got like the little eyeshadows. You've got all the brushes, the nail varnishes. I like that a lot. Um, I don't think much else is new in her room, to be honest. Um, the pictures are. Is this mirror? Yeah, I think this mirror is, which I really like. A simple oval mirror, oval mirror featuring an etched arch motif on the top left section. Well, yes, thank you. That's very specific. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cute. I like the little flowers, and again, that comes in loads of different colours. So can mix and match everything up to your heart's content. Um, Alison does have a ensuite bathroom which is a bit of a sore point for her twin who doesn't <laughs> but I guess the parents could be like you girls can share this bathroom so we got a new tile which I absolutely adore it's very clean very simple really nice pastel colour um, and it comes in like a couple of different 
thicknesses. You've got the slim bricks that we've got here. We've got the slightly thicker bricks and then we've got the even thicker bricks. Oh no, they're not even thicker. They're just a different colour. Let me just check this. No, they're not. They look like they're much bigger in the preview. Um, and we got loads of colours. Absolutely loads of colours for those. I don't understand why we've got two the same, really. Just more colours. PC splashback glass tiles offset bar tile. PC splashback glass tiles staggered subway. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're much longer. Okay, so they're not fatter, they're just longer. Okay, that's <laughs> that's fine. I think I like this sort of... Oh, they don't come in that nice purple. That's a shame. I quite like the long ones. But there you go, we've got loads of new tiles, which I think I will be using to death. Oh, there's this one as well, where these are like perfect squares. Gosh, there's a lot of new tiles. I really, really, really like to use tiles in my bathroom, like tiled walls. And um, I think this is going to come in a lot of handy dandiness. Okay, so we got the new shower stool, which comes with some of the cutest little um, designed shower curtains. Like, I love this blue stripe when I've used this upstairs. Yeah, some of these are awesome. Like, for teen ensuite rooms, they get to have their own shower curtain. This one's a bit leery for my taste. <laughs> but I can imagine the sort of sim that I would have used that. But this one's super cute with the elephants on it. Oh, like, I hope somebody takes these and makes bedspreads or something out of them because they are so cute. They are really, really cute. I think I pretty much like them all. <laughs> but we went with the pink, and I think that's it. The sink and stuff is not new. This rug is new, and it's just quite a simple rug, really. It comes in a couple of different variations. Some nice flowery ones. Oh, I didn't see the sports ones. I think I must have just stopped looking halfway through the swatches. But yeah, there's a couple of sports ones. Oh, like a mini basketball court. That's cute. Some really nice patterns, actually. I do think I will get a lot of use out of this rug. But I just went for, like, a plainish one because I thought the room had quite a lot of colour already. Um, I think that might be... Oh, and I've used it over here as the front door mat as well. I wonder if I want... There's a slightly better swatch for that. Yeah, we'll leave it as it was. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of like annoying me that it's the same as the other one. I think I like this one, but I might just turn it around. Yeah, okay, so done that. Um, so I think that's it for the downstairs. For the upstairs, we have... Um, let's just whilst we're on bathroom so in this one i've used the like perfect sort of aligned tiles which are really cute and i've used this variation of the shower curtain i absolutely love this bath i think i'll use this a lot and i went for a slightly kiddie-ish um mat because this is like the family bathroom rather than the girls bathroom and we got this storage cabinet which i love again all the colors i love the fact it's got toilet rolls on there <laughs> i like that a lot it's just so family style, I absolutely adore it. And we got a new sink, which I will definitely be using a lot because it's really clean, it's really simple. And there's not a lot of bathroom sinks I really like, and I really like this one. So in, in general, I'm super pleased with all the stuff we got in this pack, but I really like this bathroom cabinet. It's really nice. I think I might change it. Mm, no, we go with that. So that's that. Um, Let's go to nursery next. We got this... Um like little um toy box i wish this was usable i don't think it is no it's just an environment one and it kind of annoys me a tiny bit that the bricks are like included these blocks here because it means you can't like tuck this into a corner very easily like this is quite a small corner because the door so i had job tucking it right in i had to use sort of move it move objects and stuff but it's cute and it's 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 very realistic I think for a nursery to have just like a box full of toys and I suspect you know all the pieces are missing to all the toys and stuff and it's this little line so cute we got this new activity center which I um, assume is usable we will be checking that out in the gameplay uh, where is it there we go yes so it's fun six toddlers only and it gives them imagination skill buildings blocks and feet are natural enemies much pain occurs when the two meet the buildings blocks play table solves this problem by providing an elevated surface to construct your buildings blocks play sets okay so it's like duplo type stuff 
um, yeah, it looks like Duplo. And what else did we get? We got this. This was, I don't think this was strictly for a nursery, but I thought it was quite cute and it worked in a nursery. Um, it's called No Mess Hit Organizational Counter. Like, you could use it for a load of different rooms. I thought it, it would look good in the bathroom, and I think it looks good in this, like, um, kids' room as well. And then I used that lamp again that was new. I think that's it for here. And then finally, I guess, is the... Oh, I have a games table here as well. We're going to sell that because we've got one downstairs. Um, so finally, it's the parents' room. We didn't get any new double beds. I think we only got single beds, which is a little disappointing. Um, because, you know, they focused a little bit on the parents with the cat's items. So it would be nice to get a new double bed. But we did get some nice ones in City Living uh, recently, so we can't complain too much. Um, these bedside tables are new, and I really like these. Again, I I like just simple, clean stuff, and I think these bedside tables will suit a variety of rooms. And they come in, again, a bunch of colours. So we definitely be using those a lot, I think. Oh, wow, look at that one. <laughs> That's some bright, bright work on there. But yeah, I, I think I prefer the like more plain tones. This is really nice with the blue. The black and red I like. Definitely will be using some of this furniture for a vampire pack, I think. The rug is new. I absolutely love it because it's enormous. And I think big rugs I really, really like. So I um, they make a room, really. I basically designed this room around the rug. But yeah, it comes in a load of different colors and i think i'll be using this a lot as long as i've got a big enough room i like this one this is a really nice swirly pattern some of them are really cool i mean they're all pretty good i'm not too keen on these ones with the square sort of edges just because it looks a little bit i guess if the whole room was that size it would be okay but other than that there we go uh is this mirror that's just a normal mirror, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's just a normal mirror. I obviously use the bedside table. Uh, bedside table. The chest of drawers again in the white. With, I love the handles. And then we have some... This is called bathroom clutter, clutter, but I thought it worked well in a bedroom. It's just the hairbrush and a hairdryer and all that stuff. Um, and this chair is new too. Yeah, I didn't use it downstairs because it didn't quite fit in with what I was going to do. It doesn't really fit in with the other stuff in the pack, but I do like it. Do we want the one with the pink? Is that too much pink in the room? Wow, polka dots. I kind of feel like this fits in with the vintage glamour stuff quite well. Um, I'll go with this one. Have the pink cushion. Um, and the, Oh yes, the mirror is new too, which, I mean, it's pretty bog standard, but I quite like it as an over-the-bed mirror because it's the exact the right width. Comes in all the same swatches. And I like the fact that these ones are slightly distressed looking. That's quite cool shabby cheek and all that <laughs> and then these over the bed lights are new too i really do like hanging lights in bedrooms and i've got a couple of cc ones so it's nice to have some in-game ones and they're just good for the environment and they come in two different lengths they come in like a longer version and a shorter version so that's good you can sort of fit them up to fit the shape of your room but I think that is everything inside the house. There's a couple of items out here. There are a few like extra posters and stuff. I'm not going to go through those. Um, these are some of the bigger items that I missed out. And if, again, if I've missed anything else, then I do apologize. But I've obviously just completely ignored it. So we got this other kid's bed. I'm not too much of a fan of it. It looks a bit like a prison bed, like of the bars. So I prefer the other one we got. And... But it does come in some more girly variations. I like this one with the roses. I definitely think I could use that in my not so berry next generation bed. It's, it, it looks less prisony with the white bars. I think with the black it's a little bit. I think I'll use it but not as much as the other one. I'm going to delete that now because I've shown you it basically. That's the only reason I dumped this stuff outside. This was the other sofa and I just thought the cushions looked a bit more realistic on the other one. I do think I'll use this sofa but I prefer the other one. Um, and the colour swatches are okay, but like, some of them are a little bit dull. But I do like the under the sofa storage. That's quite cool. Like I say, I think I'll use it, but I prefer the other one. We got this kid's desk and chair, which is cool. I like the sort of chunky legs, and um, it definitely looks like a kiddie's chair. I think I had like a chair like this when I was little. 
pretty much. I think mine was red and my brother had a blue one and it's like sort of really cheap plastic. <laughs> That's all I, I remember it was. Um, this is Alison, by the way. Um, Kelly's twin, so that's her. And then we got this. Oh, she's writing in her journal, so I probably shouldn't delete the desk. Um, yeah, we got this uh, kids' desk, which again, I do like the single desk, and it comes in some bright colours. I wish the bottom legs would change colour, but you can only change the colour of the top. Because I feel like if I had a lot of white furniture, I would want white bottom. Will that delete everything? Hmm. Yes, yeah, so we got a journal as well, which they can lock. Um, yeah, so it changed. Cool. That's what I wanted to do. We delete that. And yes, let's show you the journal. It's got like the padlock on the front of it. I never had one of these as a kid, but I always did want one. Um, but I bet they never worked. And that comes in like, zoom in a little bit, can we? Oh, we can't because we're in build mode. Um, yeah, that comes in a variety of colours for girls and boys. Oh my god, I thought that was the death notebook then. Seriously, that just made my heart go, surely not. It does look like a Death Note notebook. Oh, if you guys know what Death Note is, then I love you. But I went for the bright pink. I'm going to leave that there because that is actually Alison's diary. We got this sink, which I didn't think kind of fit in with anything. I think it would be good for some like shabby apartments, maybe in the city living pack. But I don't really think it's... It's not my cup of tea per se. But I think in like community lots and stuff, it will be a good sink and in... Um, in uh, like I say shabby apartments we got this um, laundry basket but I don't really personally like it because it just kind of to me looks like something you'd see in a hospital I don't know if that makes any sense but like you know when you see people changing the beds in the hospitals I just feel like they would wheel one of those around it comes in loads of colors but it's not my cup of tea that's probably one of the very few items I don't really like in this pack to be honest then we have this like plate which I don't really know what it's for it's just decorative I guess but I guess it's meant to be like your kid has painted it for you. Like the handprint one's quite cute. I might actually keep that. We'll find somewhere to put it in our house. <laughs> um, maybe we'll put it in like... No, we want mum and dad's room to be a sanctuary away from the kids. Maybe we'll put it like there. <laughs> like right in the front of the living room, of course. And then we got this clutter, which looks like the kids have had a field day and just dumped their school bag on the floor and everything has tumbled out of it. I mean, I think it's a bit exaggerated, it's a bit over the top, but it's fun, it's cute. And I like the fact they've got like a teenage boys one, like that would definitely be useful for a teenager's bedroom. But otherwise, I do think it's a little bit too much and I don't think I would use it. I don't think. I may be wrong. Oops, deleting the floor. But I do like the idea, it's quite fun. I'm going to leave the diary there for a moment. But that's it for the build and buy review. Again, I apologise if I did miss anything out. Um, is there another wallpaper? Yeah, we went through that, didn't we? Let's just check. Oh no, there was another wallpaper. Let's just show you that. So we got like, um, again, just like a nice family room wallpaper, which I do think I will use. It comes in like... It's just like a half and a half. I mean, the colours are a little bit dull considering all the f all the funky coloured furniture and stuff. Like, it surprised me that these colours are a little bit dull. So, I didn't go for those. But they're fine. I think I might use them here and there. But I think that's about it. Um, oh, we did get some more lights, didn't we? <laughs> How many times have I said, I think that's about it? Um... I think they just came with the update actually, the patch before this um before this pack came out. Yeah, there we go. They, yeah, they're not they're not under the um tag for parenthood. So we got three new lights in the last patch. Um and again, lights are lights. I tend to use the same lights all the time. So there they are. Some quite funky coloured ones. Don't think I would use them, to be honest. Definitely wouldn't use this hanging shade one. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I'll be using those. It's nice to have new lights, but I always just use these flat spotlights mainly because they just disappear when you're in gameplay and don't get in your sort of eyesight, basically. I think that's it. If I did miss anything, again, I do apologise. Um, but 
let me know your thoughts on the build and buy stuff that came with parenthood personally i think it's one of the best sort of collection of stuff per se i know it's not a tough stuff blah, blah, blah. i know it's not a stuff pack but in my opinion it's like one of the best collection of stuff we've had in a pack like i really enjoy all of it and it really suits my personal style of play like i haven't even gotten to the gameplay of this pack yet but you already think it is definitely worth the 14.99 well, that's how much you pay in pounds in the uk but just from the cast items and the build buy i think it's well worth it to be honest i mean if you're going to pay 7.99 for a stuff pack where you get kind of hit and miss items and you only get a few things here and there i think 14.99 for all of the build buy and cast items we got here it's well worth it and obviously as a bonus on top of that you get all the gameplay stuff which we haven't even started to explore but we will be doing that in a mini lp it's not going to be like an epic lp it's just going to be focusing a little bit on family so that's why i've got teenagers i've got a kid i've got a toddler because i just want to like focus on all the sort of life stages and what this pack has brought to each of them um if you like this video please leave a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already that would be absolutely awesome i've just hit 400 subscribers which is amazing i never thought i would get there they will be doing like a um, giveaway for 500 if i ever reach that i really hope i will i'll probably do a pack giveaway um or something like that so if you haven't subscribed please do that would be absolutely awesome i love you forever and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye guys